of all the Chinese cars that were present in abundance on the Ukrainian market at one time, Cherry Amulet is perhaps one of the most frequently encountered, although it has many shortcomings. Why did this model attract our compatriots so much? First of all, Cherry Amulet captivated with its low cost, rich equipment, solid appearance and spacious interior. This is quite enough for Ukrainian motorists to vote for him with their wallets. Or maybe nostalgia is to blame? After all, the amulet is almost an exact copy of the 1991 seat Toledo. Designers from the Celestial Empire have updated only the radiator grille, bumpers and optics. Moreover, this model, Liftback, has been produced in China since 2003. Two years later, sales of Cherry Amulet began in Ukraine. In Russia, where the production of the model was launched, it was on the assembly line until 2008. And they stopped production only due to the discrepancy between the design of the car and the modern requirements of passive safety. Our amulet was sold with a petrol 1.6 liter 4, 94 horsepower, and a 5-speed manual transmission. There were no other options. However, despite the lack of choice, this is the only engine in the car range that is enough. Salon amulet cramped, and ergonomics are not the best. It is not easy for tall drivers to find the optimal driving position. There is not enough range of longitudinal adjustment of the chair, and the pillow is short. The padding material is far from perfect, after a year it loses its elasticity, and the seat sags under the figure of the driver. Many owners complained about the seat upholstery, in most cars it is light and very easily soiled, the plastic on the front of the cherry amulet is hard and looks cheap. On most cars, it was a light sand color, and on later versions, a black interior appeared, the elements of which are much less sturdy. Noise isolation and tightness of the body leave much to be desired. Through ill-fitting door seals, dust enters the cabin, and in rainy weather, water. Many owners, knowing about this problem, independently modified the body, and also covered the fuse box located under the wipers with waterproof material. Moisture dripping from the windshield gets there. In general, the first owners often carried out special pre-sale preparation, which included the drawing of all threaded connections, and corrected the wheel alignment angles. There are complaints about the paintwork, it is prone to chips and scratches. The plastic trim pieces are brittle. In the cold, bumpers crack even from a weak blow. There are many complaints about electrical equipment. Periodically, the generator does not work at full capacity, which is why the battery is discharged over time. Many onboard electrical appliances are buggy. Not only are the headlights frankly blind, in addition, on the car, apparently due to power surges, the bulbs of the headlight, rear lights and license plate light burn out too often. The motor is simple in design, but demanding on fuel quality. Due to poor gasoline, the nozzles become clogged, which is manifested by a deterioration in traction and unstable idling. Valves burn out. The mass airflow sensor in the Lambda Probe are short-lived. Please note that the oil filter is located exactly above the converter, which, when changing the oil, inevitably falls a few drops. In this place, the part burns out over time. Experienced servicemen are aware of this nuance and put a rag under the filter when changing the oil. The timing belt is updated strictly after 40,000 km along with the rollers and tensioner. There are no special complaints about the reliability of the 5-speed gearbox. On the oldest machines, the link of the manual gearbox lever is loose. The bond is short-lived. On average, it is changed after 80,000 km, although it is far from uncommon and twice as short. Suspension front, McPherson struts, rear, semi-torsional beam. Front disc brakes, rear drum brakes. Suspension does not differ in survivability. Periodically it is necessary to change the front stabilizer struts. Careful drivers do this every 20,000 km, and racers, four times more often. Belt driven engine and gas distribution mechanism. The belt must be replaced every 40,000 km. Otherwise, you will have to pay more than two times more for repairing the head of the block when the toothed belt breaks. The body is not durable and quickly surrenders to corrosion. The paintwork is weak scratches and chips, usually on the hood and trunk lid, increase quickly. If they are not repaired in time, rust spots form in two to three months. The front suspension is McPherson type. The first to make themselves felt in it are the struts and bushings of the anti-roll bar. Wheel bearings are also at risk, they usually last for a year or 20,000 kilometers. Ball bearings have been released for a longer period, about 55,000 kilometers. The rear suspension is spring-loaded, with an H-shaped semi-independent beam. On machines of the first years of production, almost without exception, shock absorbers float. The Chinese, seemingly even successfully, tried to solve this problem, but there were still complaints about weak shock absorbers. 
Drum pads are quite durable, they can withstand almost 100,000 kilometers. Problems with the alternator lead to the discharge of the battery. Blocks and relays fail and are buggy. Due to power surges, the bulbs of the headlight, tail lights, instrument lighting and license plate lights very often burn out. 